Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm Joe Flash, and I'm once again I'm playing another Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Smash Up Arcade Mode. Now the reason why I'm doing this again is, well, I have this thing called the Joe Flash Club on Instagram, which is like a club. It's basically for my Waxahachie friends, and I asked them if they wanted me to do another gameplay for this because you know they're all my true friends. And quite frankly, they wanted me to, and so you probably saw the last time I did it on medium mode, which I will do that on that level, on that difficulty again. I will do it on medium difficulty, and last time I did it, I did it with Leonardo, and I asked him what character do they want to see me do. I mean, I could have asked them for the difficulty, but I just couldn't even be bothered, you know. I really do not like hard, very hard, or shell shock difficulty. They are the hardest levels yet. They're just, I mean, I've completed it on those levels before, but only one time, and I just could not handle it anymore. And so, as I said, I asked them on what character they wanted me to say. One of them, named Emma, Grace, Emma Gracie, said Raphael, and then Cordy B, I mean, I don't know what her real name is, but that's her Instagram name, asked for Splinter, and pretty much they were the only two that answered. So, basically, I had to come down to result of voting contests and who would they really want. And quite frankly, Emma's sister Hannah stepped in and he said Raphael. And quite frankly, the results were in that for the next game I was gonna do another one, and this time I will be playing as Raphael. So let's go out on ahead and get into it, shall we? No more talking. We're gonna choose Raphael and just get with it. And I will be using my profile again, yes. And it really makes a lot of sense for me to have my profile in red because Raphael wears the red mask, so... Now... If I do... I mean, I don't know if I if, if I will, but... You know what? I'm just gonna do it. So I'm gonna skip the story mode. So I'm gonna skip the story mode because you already saw it off of my first one with Leonardo, so there's no reason to say why we need to see that story again if you've already seen it, so I'm not gonna do it again. I mean, I know maybe some of you want me to, but I'm, I will not show it again, so I'm just gonna skip all the cutscenes and everything and just go right into battle, and here we go. As you can see, the first character we have to fight is Casey Jones. That's that's really gonna be interesting too because you know that's Raphael's best friend so it's gonna be interesting to see this again rivalry between Raphael and Casey. I'm taking you down. Time to clean the streets. Three, Actually, we're in a sewer, one, Casey. Go. Not to mess. I love this move by Raphael. By the way, that's a really good move. Raphael's got some really interesting moves. I don't mind playing as Raphael. I'll show you another one. Hold on, let me just try to... He's also got that air move, which really is pretty cool. I love it. And there we go. As I said, normal difficulty is not... You know, I actually messed up when I said medium difficulty. It's normal difficulty. It's the same thing, sort of, but in this game it's called normal difficulty. So I basically messed up, but it's okay. And, as I said, it's not really as hard as hard, very hard, or shell shock difficulty, but it can be difficult sometimes, but it's alright. Huh. April O'Neil, huh? Probably should have expected that Casey and April were gonna both face me again, just like the last time. I remember last time April came first and then Casey Jones, but now it's Casey Jones and now April. I like the stage, by the way, the western stage. This is really not a bad stage. You can see there's a horse there and everything. Oh, this is gonna be fun. I'm ready for this. And the cool thing about the stage ready, is, you know, just one, like that go. New York City one I did last time, you can see there's a pole you can grab onto, and you have to grab it with one and two, and you can actually sling it and hold left and right on the control key to aim your direction, and you can actually hit your opponent with it. I'm gonna try it again. I actually just did it, but... So let me try it again. It's really hard, you have to... But sometimes it can go the wrong way, but you know what, never mind. I'm not even gonna do it. Oh, Clasher. Sure. 
See, the AI sometimes it tends to block a lot. Huh. How did that even get her? I don't even know how that got her, but it worked. Alright. So, never mind. Alright, now we're gonna do a bonus game. As you, as you already know... You know what? Actually, you know what? I think for this one... Look, I know I don't normally want to do this, and I really do not like this one, but... I will try the dodge... The Kuda. I'm pretty sure you guys want to see me do it, so you know what? I'll give it a shot. You basically just have to block. You just have to press B to block, and you just have to dodge it with left and right. You know, you have to do that. It's really not easy, as I said. It's really a hard difficulty. You can also you can block with B, but you also have to try to you know. It's really difficulty. I feel like I can do it this time, so I'm gonna give it a shot. Let's try that again. Like I said, there's a reason why I do not play this part of the game, but I will give it a shot. Because I'm pretty sure you guys would like to see me do it, so I will give it a shot. Oh, he got me. Oh, okay. I didn't know that. I didn't even know I was already about to be destroyed. So yeah, it, t it takes a lot of damage away from you, so, so you see, see, pretty much you see why I do not play that part of the game. You can see why I do not play that bonus game, because even when I'm doing good, it still doesn't work. So, I will never do that again the next time I play this game, which I will. You know what, because I'm doing this game again with Raphael, when this is over for the next video, maybe tomorrow or something, maybe I'll do some more of it, maybe I'll do it with every single character. I'll do maybe Donatello or Michelangelo, April, Casey, Splinter, I'll get the rest of them. But I don't know. Maybe I'll ask the I don't know. I I mean I could ask the Joe Flash Club again on which one they want to see me do it with, but you know what? Eh, I think I'll just choose whoever I want to choose, you know? Alright, but as you can see we're fighting Ma Splinter and Master Splinter next. You looking at me? Are you sure you want to do this? Yes I'm sure I want to do this. I don't back down from the fight. That was very risky for me to do that. I have no idea why I even tried to do that. Raphael really does have some really good moves. I like him. Well, and Splinter trying to climb. He almost got destroyed, so he's trying to climb his way back up. So it's really cool if you press if you hold the Wii mode up you can like block sort of and you and if you press the one button with it you can actually change what what super ninja power you want to use so it's really cool. Ah, oh, he burnt my he burnt my booty. <laughs> wow. Okay, this is starting to get tough. God, Master Splinter is getting tough. God, this is, I can guarantee you right now, that, that has never happened before in this game, wow. I guess it was because I was losing my focus, I'm, I'm just gonna have to focus now, but never mind. Michelangelo, I will have no problem taking Michelangelo out. Not at all. Seriously, Mikey, you asked me that the last time when I played this game as Leonardo, really? This is not gonna take long at all. The video might take long, but not the fight, though. So the fight's starting to get a little bit tough now. Even though it's on normal difficulty, the fight can still get tough sometimes. Get him. I almost had you. Got him. Alright. So there goes Michelangelo. And apparently he was the last character to face, so that's basically all the good guys. You have done what versus foot ninja and foot ninja. As I said last time, I will not be showing the cutscenes anymore. 
as he said, you already know what the cutscenes were. If you haven't seen it from my first playthrough as Leonardo, I will not show that cutscene again. So I'm just going to skip and just go on to the fights. So we're fighting foot nin two foot ninjas this time. Oh, this is going to be fun. Huh. They're in the lair. Wow. Foot the Foot Clan has invaded the lair. Wow. This is going to be interesting, fighting in the lair. This is Raphael and the, and the rest of the turtles home. Apparently the foot have seemed to have evaded again. I almost got one foot ninja. Okay, there goes one. I missed. Oh, he got me. I'm going to have to focus now because the fight, as I said, is starting to get a little bit tough. He got me. I guess that was pointless to grab the bombs in if I was already going to destroy him, but never mind. Alright. So let's try another one. I, I promise myself I will never do this dodge the Kuda again for my next game, for my other gameplays. I will not ever do that again. It's too hard. Alright. Actually, you know what? I want to try again on climb, so let's do that. You looking at me? I'm going to try it again on climb. You saw last time I failed, so I'm going to try it again. Kind of looks like Raphael. Kind of looks like Raphael runs a, runs a lot more faster than even Leonardo does. Wow. I guess it's a little bit better using Raphael than I was using Leonardo last time, then. Nothing OS, Leonardo's still my favorite Ninja Turtle, but Raphael seems to be a little bit okay, actually. I have to be honest. Raphael really does not seem bad at all. I actually give him credit. I mean, I guess I shouldn't blame on why him or Gracie decided to suggest me to use Raphael for the next gameplay, then. I shouldn't blame at all. Raphael may be a loudmouth. Raphael may get angry a lot, but you know. Wow, this part's hard. I have to stick up against the walls and try to climb it. There you go, I got it. I wasn't sure if I was actually going to be able to make it or not. That took me longer than the last time, too, so I kind of wasted a lot of time already. I only have 30 seconds left. I really got to hurry up. Oh, God. Shoot. Go down. Come on. I might fail again. The time's almost up. I might fail again. The time's almost up. Yep. I failed again. Only because I wasted too much time on that climbing thing on the wall, so I failed again. Wow. I will do this again, and I will complete this. As I said, I've done this before. I've, do I've literally have done this before, so I don't see why it's so hard for me to do it, but never mind. Alright, so Terminator's next. Nice, started off with a combo. Good. Oh, wow, he dodged that. I hate it when they dodge those air attacks. That really sucks. Those air attacks usually help out a lot, but not when they're blocking it. Wow. I love that move by Raphael, as I said. I have no idea what that move even was, but never mind. I wasn't even right in front of him, and I still got him anyway. What the heck? Wow. Wow! Alright, got you. You're dead. You're done, Terminator. Alright, we're almost done. Versus Karai and Foot Ninja. So let's do it. I'm taking you down. I just have nothing to say. I'm just gonna focus. I'm just gonna get this Three, over with. Two, one, go. Uh, nice. Started off with a combo. Good.
Oh god. Immediately they started going after the bees too, wow. Wow, foot ninjas really actually tear my butt up. Wow. No, do not send me into the water. I will not get destroyed by that alligator like I did last time. No. Darn it! Darn it! I knocked down the... It should have took down Foot Ninja other than me, but... It should have took down Foot Ninja, any... Whatever. It's part of the freaking game. I hate that move. She can really actually stun you a lot with that move. No, you will not send me... God, I got really lucky. I almost got... Freaking... Stop! They always tend to knock me into the water when that alligator alert goes on. It really gets me destroyed a lot when the alligator catches me. It's ridiculous. Alright, so now we're gonna do one more thing. I'll do Proceed again. I really like Proceed. It's my favorite. So far, out of all the other ones, Proceed's always been my favorite. I really just love the music. And you can see that's New York City in the background and we're really far away from it. The stage is really good. I love the music. You can hear the music. It's really, really good. See, just listen to the music. It sounds awesome, doesn't it? I almost nearly fell that time. I got super lucky. I really wish I knew what these things were. Oh, wow. Wow. I got really lucky. Got really lucky I did not get hit there. Oh god, I got hit that time. I better hurry up, I'm wasting too much time. Just I'm gonna have to stop talking, I thank you guys, because I'm really losing my focus now. I'm all this talking really is starting to make me lose my concentration. Oh god. It takes me a while for me to get up too, so that really also is what the problem is with this. Oh gosh. This is really tough, but no matter what, I still love this bonus game, it's my favorite. See, just listen to the music, there's just so much- Oh, you- Oh, darn it! See, that is why I hate those things, they- they- if they hit you, they can knock you off. Man, I failed in all three bonus games, wow! Man, I certainly sucked a lot more worse than last time, because I managed to complete two of them last time. I sucked in this one. Wow. Man, I sucked in all three bonus games. Wow. I hate the music in the background, too. It just sounds too stupid. You know, it sounds like you really means. It sounds like loser music. You know, it sounds like a meaning it's calling you a loser. I just don't like it. Alright, let's get this over with. Shredder and the two foot ninjas. I haven't made any mistake coming here at all, Shredder. I'm here to destroy you. Wow. It's pretty crazy I'm in a three on one handicap match, but I could take it nevertheless. Alright, that's one foot ninja down. You're not hitting me with that move, Shredder. Oh my god, the foot ninjas really... Wow! My goodness. And the foot ninja just sacrificed himself, wow. Take that, Shredder. You... And here we go, now we are getting down at the bottom. This is really cool because, as you can see, there's like a battle. There's like a simulator there. If you attack it, it will actually make the decision on which character it will attack. Oh my god, attack it! Just in the nick of time before I was about to get destroyed by it. See, you can see the AI tends to go after it a lot because they really want me dead, you know? No! I don't want to be target! Ugh! Darn you, Shredder! That's it, you are dead. I'm gonna hit you with a throw and that is it. Get out of here. Wow. I lost two of my lives. 
lost my second one by getting destroyed with that. I got destroyed with that freaking little simulator thing. I don't know what you call it. I just call it simulator. Shredder actually got me. He stopped me from using, from trying to make it change. Wow. Darn you, Shredder. I hate that. See, that is why I hate that thing, because the AI tends to target it a lot, and most of the time it'll get me. It's hard for me to get it against the AI, because eventually they'll get at him, they'll eventually get through me and they'll get to it, but never mind. It doesn't matter. I won. No, we do not need to see the ending. We already know how it ends. As I said, for those of you that are just watching this, go back and look at my first playthrough with Leonardo, and you'll be able to know how it ends. Alright. So now I gotta make my decision on which chess I should do again. As I said, once you first start the game, those statue heads of Night Watcher, Foot Ninja, Cry, or Terminator, or Shredder will be gray, which means if you want, you can unlock them by pressing on them. I've already unlocked them, so they're gold still, and I just got nothing left but to choose the treasure chests. You know, if you, I mean, I'm pretty sure if you were to play this game, I'm pretty sure you would just immediately want to unlock all five of those characters, because, you know, new characters is, is better than these treasure chests, getting more shells and everything, but unless, but you know. Alright. So let's, uh, I'm gonna go with red this time. 38, wow. I picked a lucky choice. And here is Raphael's ending. Hey, Raphael! Raph, where are you, buddy? Uh, where did he go? Raph, hey! You should have guessed it. Oh, the Night Watcher helmet. I get it. Well, it looks like Raphael is back as the Night Watcher again, apparently. And you know, that's actually based off of that Ninja Turtle cartoon, that movie I was talking about, you know, so. That's actually the Ninja, that was actually a game of that movie, actually, and that's the Ninja Turtle game I actually really want. My mom's gonna actually try to look up on Google tomorrow and see if they have it in Waxahachie GameStop and maybe next time if we know what the price is we can buy it or something. Cause I really wanna actually make a gameplay of that game to be honest, I really want to. That game's a lot of fun, so at least it's better than this one, but whatever. But anyway you guys, that is my gameplay of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Smash Up on normal difficulty again and this time using Raphael based off of Emma, Gracie, and Hannah's request. Thank you, thank you, two sisters, for requesting this. I actually appreciate it. I actually enjoyed playing as Raphael. He's a good character. Nothing, nothing much similar that's going to change me to not liking Leonardo, but Raphael's still cool. But I, but thanks to them, shout out to Emma Gracie and Hannah for requesting, and until then, when I'm back with another game, with another arcade mode of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Smash Up, this is Joe Flash signing out, and have a good day, and once again... I'm out of here, you guys. See you next time. Peace.